Objective 4 aims to enhance the personal development of students, faculty, and staff at Eastern. Support service improvements focus on the areas of academic, psychological, and motivational support, as well as advising for first year, transfer, part-time, and graduate students. The strategy that constitutes the greatest change for the university has been the creation of the Office of Professional Development. The new office coordinates professional development activities for all Eastern employees, including instruction in job-specific skills, workshops in workplace competencies, and mandated trainings ranging from information security to sexual harassment as well as serving as a clearinghouse for off-campus professional development opportunities. Here are more details. For many years, Eastern provided faculty with professional development opportunities through the Center for Educational Excellence. The new Office of Professional Development builds on that model by providing training to develop skills and knowledge for faculty and staff, and in some cases, students. The new office has developed a comprehensive, planned schedule of professional development activities to provide knowledge that everyone at Eastern needs, skills that any member of the faculty and staff can benefit from, and training and workshops targeted to the needs of specific work groups. Federal law and university policy mandates a variety of training for all employees, and in some cases, students. Over the past year, the Office of Professional Development has sponsored training and events in the areas of diversity, sexual harassment, women's rights, and Title IX, and piloted a program on domestic violence. Elements of training have also been provided to the males, females, and OLAS clubs, as well as resident assistants. In addition to training provided for all faculty and staff, the Office of Professional Development has also supported workshop attendance in response to targeted need. One example is cybersecurity training offered to ITS, student affairs, and academic affairs employees. Another is FERPA training offered for people dealing with student records who must understand laws concerning rights of privacy. And resident assistance will be sent to this summer's National Association of Student Personnel Administrators Conference to develop skills they can use back on campus. The Office of Professional Development is also working hard to link existing programs on campus so that duplication is avoided and more employees can access relevant knowledge. Of course, faculty development continues to be a priority and special programs on retention, assessment, undergraduate research and other areas have been offered. All these efforts augment the professional development and support offered by the Department of Administrative Services and by the AAUP and SWOF bargaining units. One of Coffee 2's key recommendations was to leverage our website presence to provide a one-stop shopping online environment for professional development, linked to other internal and external resources, and maintaining a current training schedule. Web pages exist for campus-wide workshops, compliance training, links to off-campus resources available online, faculty resources including resources for new faculty, and staff resources including Mentor Commons Online training modules. As a result of these efforts, more than 500 Eastern faculty Staff and students have been provided some form of training and professional development this past year. And it is not just about the numbers. Library staff has provided support to staff in the facilities department who do not have computers to help them take mandatory online training. Supporting our colleagues is the Eastern way. As you have seen, the Office of Professional Development is working hard to provide a comprehensive schedule of enrichment activities for faculty and staff, including in-house training as well as access to online instruction and other resources. Through this coordinated approach, Eastern is enhancing workplace competencies, organizational knowledge, and campus culture.